Hi, this is Carlton Cullens, and welcome to the Blue Sky Strong Box. Hey, this is Carlton Collins with the Blue Sky Strong Boxer in Austin, Texas. And this week, as briefly as I can, I want to talk about the macronutrient protein. I know everybody's heard the term protein, but some people, some people are really clear on what it is and some people are a little fuzzy. So I want to try to get everybody on the same page. But listen up, I'm going to do a real quick overview. All of the food that you, you eat on a regular basis, all the food that I eat, all the food that the people of the world eat, whether it's good food or bad food, all of this food can be pretty much categorized into one of three categories, protein, carbohydrate, and fat. So no matter what you're eating, it's going to be one of those three things. Yes, it is true. Some, some foods may be all three of those, but most foods are predominantly one of them. And uh, predominantly protein, or they're predominantly carbohydrate, or they're predominantly fat. Yes, it's also true that not all of these are created equal. There's some proteins that are not so good, and maybe some that are a little bit better. There's definitely carbohydrates. I mean, Krispy Kreme donuts and sodas and Coke and stuff are carbohydrates, but so are vegetables. So not all these macronutrients are the same. You know, there's there's really really bad fats and there's really really good fats. So you know, there's they're they're not all created equal. But most people need to eat a nice balance of all three of the healthy ones each and every day. So when somebody comes to me, I get a new client. They want to maybe lose some body fat. They want to be healthier. They want to maybe they want to put on some muscle. I'm going to talk about their macronutrients and how it breaks down. It sounds complicated. It's more work than you'd like to think. Uh, but at some point, you need to be aware of what you're eating, and particularly when it comes to protein. So the first thing I start off with is I tell people, what is your protein? I ask people, what is your protein source? If I, if uh, every meal, if I told somebody, write down what you ate that is next week, and somebody brings that to me, I'm going to look at it and be like, well, what is your protein source for each meal? And some people look at me with a blank stare, and they're like, well, what do you mean? Uh, obviously, people are aware that meats and things like that, maybe even eggs and milk are protein, but what about all the vegetarians? It gets more complicated with, for vegetarians because you have to combine foods to get protein you need because our bodies need our, pro, our bodies need protein. It needs carbohydrates and it needs fats and it needs them every single day. Protein I like to start off with because it's simple, but protein is the building block of our cells. If you don't have protein, your body is going to rob protein from the muscles already in your body to kind of robbing Paul to pay Peter. It's not a good situation. That's where a lot of people are if you're not eating enough protein. Of course, being a trainer and we work with weights and stuff like that, people are used to hearing trainers talk about protein, but everybody needs protein, whether you're working out or not. You can tell people when they're not eating enough protein, they typically, you know, their hair their nails, their skin, they typically don't look as healthy. Uh, so protein intake is really, really important. For you to make cosmetic changes, to lose body fat, particularly if you want to gain muscle, particularly if you want to do a lot of things, upping your protein take is going to be really, really important. So when I ask people uh, what is their protein, I want them to be able to answer to me very simple. There, there, there's a lot of different kind of proteins out there. You're going to have to do some education. So what I want you to do this week is find out what proteins are, which ones you like, which ones you'll eat. And I want you to figure out how many you're getting in a day. Roughly, like I know in the military, they say most women should eat roughly at least 80 grams of protein a day, and most men should eat anywhere from 100 to 120 grams minimum of protein each day. That's a lot of protein for most people, particularly if you're not aware of it. But most people would actually do probably a little bit better if they ate even more than that. But it doesn't matter necessarily. You just need to be aware of how much you're already eating and maybe up it from there. If you are exercising and doing a lot of things like that, and you're being more active, you're going to need to probably increase that a little bit more. When the more protein you eat, the more water you're going to drink. But each meal, what I tell people, recommend people to do, is focus on a protein source. Your meal should focus, that should be the center of your focus, and everything around that should be good. So ideally, you would have a protein source in the middle, some veg fruits or vegetables around, around the sides, and maybe a good source of fat somewhere in there. And that's pretty much your meal. Every meal should be a mini, uh, you know, a mini uh, little, little pie chart. It should have a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbohydrate, and a little bit of fat in there every single meal. If you do that each meal, you'll be on track by the end of the day, and you'll have roughly a third of each one of those. You may be up or down on them. It doesn't matter. It's, as long as you're in there close and you're getting a minimal amount each day. But So when I ask people, what is your protein source, I want them to be able to answer. I want them to think 
think about that. That's how I've eaten for many, many years. Whether you're a vegetarian or not, it doesn't matter. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you need to also be thinking, what is my food combination? How am I going to get my protein source with each meal? If you're not thinking about that, I guarantee you, you're probably not going to be eating enough protein. Lots of studies have come out that said that Americans now eat too much protein, but I think that's BS. When I look at people's meal plans, what they're eating, people are not eating enough protein. And I think most people would benefit. But like I said, there's good there's, there's better proteins and not so good proteins. So find good lean sources, healthy sources of protein. There's lots of di different ones. The more variety, the better. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. I tried to make it short, but I can never do that. But anyway, that's my tips this week. If you have any questions, write me and I'll do my best to get back with you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.